Hey there, I am back with another deck review, and today it's going to be a little bit of a throwback review to Borderline Playing Cards by Traina Design. Uh, this is a Kickstarter deck going all the way back to 2014, uh, when the San Diego-based design firm partnered up with USPCC to print this deck right here. Uh, I actually just recently picked up a copy on a great site, WoundedCorner.com. Definitely recommend checking them out. In addition to new decks, they also have used decks at great prices, which as a guy who opens up pretty much all the decks that I get, it's really great to save a few bucks and get a good condition used deck. Uh, so definitely recommend checking them out. Uh, but let's take a closer look at these cards here. Uh, so Borderline... Uh, is done up in this matte brown tuck case. Very similar colors to what you'll see if you have like the medallions playing cards from Theory 11 with that dark brown. I think it's a really cool and underutilized color. Another underutilized color is the color of the foiling they use. Uh, it's, they use a copper color. Uh, so really cool contrast with the dark brown and then the copper gives it kind of that aged vintage or uh, antiqued look to it. Uh, it is fully embossed, so it gives it a little bit of a nice feel to it. And then on the front, it says, Traina Design Presents Borderline, in bold letters there. Uh, the background is just kind of a desert scene, so you've got a desert highway with a Cadillac, complete with the steer horns hood ornament there. Uh, driving through the desert, you've got the cacti in the desert and the mountains in the background, and then the beautiful setting sun casting its rays over the entire box. Very cool uh, background scene there. At the bottom, slick deals and quick draws. And then you just have some very simple lines and design elements framing up the entire picture. And then you have the four roses here in the corners. There's the front of the tuck case. Uh, one side says, Train to Design, established 2005 in Roman numerals. Uh, the designs here feature sugar, or uh, the, these skulls here, which are very common in Mexican culture. And then the cross revolvers up here. And on the other side, borderline playing cards. Uh, bottom has your ad copy for Train to Design. Mentions these are made in the USA by USPCC. And then the top just has some very, very simple kind of vine work um, and designs going. Back's going to be the back design of the cards. Very nice, but we'll look more closely at that in just a second. And then you have a red custom tuck seal. Uh, very thin lines, uh, line designs going on here. And you can see it's got US with a border and MX. And that kind of gets to the theme of these cards, which is going to be the culture along the US-Mexican border. So there is the outside. On the inside, you've got product of San Diego, where Trina is based. And then just very simple design elements there. There's that kind of double diamond there on the inner flaps. No printing on the inside of the tuck case, uh, but you can see that embossing coming through a little bit. So that's the tuck case. Very nice. I like the color scheme a lot. I like the brown and copper. Very nice. But let's look now at the back design of the cards. And here it is. So here's where you're going to really start to see that theme come through of the duality between U.S. and Mexico and that border culture. Uh, so it features uh, what appears in the face of it to be kind of a one-way or a two-way back design. It's actually a one-way, uh, with which has the eagles here with kind of a compass rose in the center. And then very simple line design work, or very thin, I should say, line and design work coming all the way around. So you have this sort of radiant pattern coming through. The top says good luck on the banner, and then you've got the roses in the corner, as well as the four suits. Now, I did say it's a one or two-way back design, or sorry, one-way back design for a few reasons. First off, of course, those suits, but also here's where we're going to see the start of the theme. So where one side here represents the U.S. side of the border, you've got good luck, you've got the classic American eagle with the arrows and the olive branches representing peace and war. Uh, so you've got that very classic American signal there. As you turn it over, it looks similar, but now it's got Buena Suerte, which is good luck in Spanish. And then you have the, uh, the Mexican version of the eagle. So their eagle is holding a uh, snake in its mouth and resting on a cactus. Uh, interesting story, the snake, the origin of that one is actually, according to Aztec culture, all of the cities in Mexico were built whenever they 
saw an eagle with a snake in its mouth. So the story of where like Mexico City was placed was because they saw this symbol there and then that became featured on their flag. So very cool uh, touch to kind of have the US and the Mexican side on the back design of the cards. Uh, while it is a one-way back design, it's also subtly enough done that personally I don't find it too annoying. I think it, you know, it still works very well as a design. Uh, now that continues down through the rest of the deck too. So we'll start with the Jokers and you can immediately see what they're going to be doing with the, with the deck theme here. Uh, they are nearly identical Jokers, one red, one black. But much like the back design of the cards, it features U.S. side of the border on one side and, and the... Uh, and the Mexican side on the other. So on the US side, it features kind of a rodeo clown with a drink in his hand there and wearing that bolo tie and the classic red rodeo shirt there. And then on the other side, you have a mariachi dressed up with, uh, with the face paint, kind of like Day of the Dead face paint uh, in the center. And then he's got the maracas in his hands wearing the sombrero. So you've got the US and the, uh, and the Mexican sides that are both represented here. The center says Joker, kind of facing the U.S. side, and then Joker in Spanish, which is Comodín, uh, on the other. So, pretty cool theme there. I like that kind of reverse uh, sides of the border that they do there. I just have a simple J in the corners. Small annoyance, this looks exactly like the J index that's on the jack. Uh, so, depending on how you're using these cards, that can get a little bit annoying. But, cool design to them. Uh, you do get two other extra cards. One is just an ad card for Train to Designs with that kind of weathered look to it. And then the other is a double backer. So you do get one gaff card. Uh, the rest of the cards follow with that duality theme to them. So starting with the Ace of Spades, you have a very simple large spade pip in the middle, custom indices with a small pip in the corner. And then the center is going to feature a banner that just says Ace on one side and then the Spanish representation, which I guess is A's on the other side. Uh, so there's your ace, and then all the numbers continue with the same. So you have the pips in the background, and then the English and Spanish for two, two and dos, three and trace, and so on, as you go through. Very cool uh, flip to it there. I like that touch, I think it's really interesting. Uh, the court cards are gonna feature, again, US and Mexican characters. So the jack's gonna feature a biker on one side uh, with his bandana, and then you have a luchador, a uh, wrestler on the other side for the Jacks. The Queens feature a uh, Hollywood starlet on one side, and then you have the, the kind of Mexican senorita on the other one. And then just like everything else, they've got Queen and then the Spanish version Reina on the other side. And then the Kings are gonna feature law enforcement. So the King of Spades here, you have just sort of a border officer on one side, and then you've got the Federales on the other side. So pretty cool. Again, with that duality, I really like the, uh, the artwork on these kind of, a. Uh, it reminds me a little bit of, if you've seen like the pressers playing cards, very similar sort of art style to them. Uh, they've got that kind of radiant sun in the background to give them a little bit of interest, but very cool artwork on these. Uh, then you get to the, uh, diamonds. So all the aces are going to feature that large pip in the background. And then same theme here with the English and Spanish versions. And then here are your court cards on the diamonds. So basically the same theme, you know, you've got Biker and Luchadore on the Jack, the Hollywood Starlet and the Senorita on the Queen, and then the law enforcement officers on the King. But they're all gonna be slightly different from one suit to the next, whether it's the color scheme, slight differences in the poses, or just differences in the faces, you're gonna see a little bit of a difference between suit and uh, suit to suit, but the same basic themes. And you can see that here if I look at the king side by side, right? So they both feature law enforcement officers, but slight differences between them. So there's your club version of the courts. And then going down through the clubs. And here are the hearts. And through the heart number cards. And finishing with that big, bold ace of hearts. So really cool. I wish they'd done maybe a little bit more to differentiate between uh, the different suits and done a little bit more variation in the courts. But I still think they did 
enough of a variation to keep it really interesting. So I personally love the theme that was done to this deck. I think it's a really well executed deck. Uh, as far as handling, they are USB-CC. They're going to handle really, really nicely. Fans and everything are beautiful. That thin border is going to work well. It's a little bit of a thicker stock, I would say, than than some of the more modern cards, especially if you used a lot of like Dan and Dave decks where they use that super thin stock. But still handles very, very nicely. can work very well for you. Uh, so no complaints at all in that department. And what would I use the deck for? Well, it's a pretty functional deck for most anything you want to use it for. Whether it's, you know, I think the courts are going to be maybe a little bit distracting if you want to use them for certain magic tricks. But for gameplay and uh, and for cardistry, I think these are going to work really beautifully. So definitely a highly functional deck. Uh, but then also one you can just appreciate the art on. I think it's a really beautiful deck as well. So that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed. Look at the borderline playing cards. Hopefully had a chance to kind of expose you to an older deck that maybe you hadn't seen before. Uh, so let me know if there's other decks that you want to see. Uh, subscribe for more deck reviews and unboxings. And I'll see you for the next one.